What's going on guys, Bow here back with some One Piece Online 2, so let's get into this. The servers just came about about 3 minutes ago. Uh, there are 4 classes, just like Open Alpha. You can go back and watch that one if you want to check them out, but uh, we're going to be going with Mage, of course. And it is going to be really laggy. As you can see, it's not even really loading, but there's probably a ton of people trying to play since it barely came out. I'll give it about an hour before you actually go try to play it. But uh, yeah, we're going to attempt to try to get into it. You can top up on this version as well. I believe the minimal amount is 200 diamonds, which is like 5 bucks. So there's that. I'm not too sure how much the VIP levels are, but we'll check that out a little bit later if we can actually get the game to work. Yeah, it's really, really laggy. I mean, it barely came out, so... Yeah, you can see a ton of people already on the game trying to load it up. So, I would give it about an hour. I should have actually gave it out about an hour, but uh, I wanted to get this up. And uh, out so you guys could check it out. Because it is out today, so... You can start just like everybody else did. And we do have the leveling and uh, first top up packs basically same stuff we usually have we have the shop uh, I am gonna be topping up I don't know what we're gonna be getting for the first top up pack but it's probably gonna be really laggy for probably for this first day so uh, I wouldn't uh, guarantee topping up uh, at least for the first couple of hours just let it uh, catch up I mean you can but I don't know if they're going to be keeping up with their support just in case it doesn't go through. Because as you can see it's pretty laggy but I'm pretty sure this should clear up pretty soon. I think it's just an overload of people actually trying to play the game because it just released. <laughs> and we got to sit here and wait. Uh, I might have to reload. I think I will. Yeah, we're gonna have to go reload, so... Let's see what happens. Let's try it again. And... Nothing. Uh, reload one more time, see if this... Alright, so that time it actually loaded the picture. Yeah, it's pretty laggy, but... By the time you guys actually see this video, this should have cleared up by then, I'm pretty sure. But uh, they do have Luffy, Zoro, as you can see, level 4, level 14. And then you get more characters at level 20, 50. And you do get a gift pack. 880 day gift? I don't know what that is, but... Uh, it looks like it froze yet again, so we might have to go reload one more time not too sure it might load it might not but uh, we'll see here in a second all right we had to go reload one more time I don't know it's really laggy I wouldn't uh, recommend starting off this early especially with a newer game like this s1 couple minutes out and uh, a ton of people probably trying to play Looks like it's kind of clearing up. I mean, some of the stuff isn't loading. Pretty sure they're trying to figure out uh, whatever bugs they're finding and stuff like that. So, we'll see what happens with all of that. But, uh, looked like a pretty good game from the open alpha and closed beta. They did fix some stuff from the open alpha to closed beta. Not too sure what they're fixing in this uh, open beta one but uh, yeah the game's live you can go play it now I'll leave the link in the description if you guys want to go check it out uh, yeah it looks like it's clearing up stuff's actually starting to load never mind <laughs> when I say that we can't get uh, some characters to load at least it's actually working now so we can actually start to level and I did go with the mage I mean I always go with mages during these plus I'm probably gonna continue to play this I don't know if I'm going to do commentary on all of these, especially for the first, like, uh, maybe like 20 levels, maybe even a little bit past that, because in the beta I did go, or open alpha I should say, not even in the beta, 
um, even though I did play the beta, the open alpha I went to like 30 or something like that. And then in the closed beta I got to 30 as well. But uh, yeah, pretty fun game. I'm going to continue to play it, but we'll see how everything works out. It is a pretty fun game. You might as well check it out and see if you're going to like it. Yeah, if you don't like it in the first, like, 20 levels or something like that, then I wouldn't continue. It usually takes about an hour. Depending, it's really bad right now, so it may take a little bit longer than an hour, maybe two hours, to actually get to level 20, but, uh... At least, uh, get a little while. If you don't really like it, probably not going to. But, there we go. <laughs> the... Oh my god, we got more lag. And we can't even see the characters. So we did get Luffy, as you can see, at level 4. At level 14, you get your third character, which is going to be Zoro. And then I believe it was at level 20? You get a fourth character? I don't know if uh, the fourth character is random or not. I can't remember. I know they just give you, like, a character. I don't know if everyone gets the same one. Or how that works out. But uh, I know the top-up gift is going to be Chopper. So that might be a reason to actually top up. And you just have to top up any amount to actually get it, so... But the lowest amount they have is 200 diamonds. I don't really like the VIP system though, because the amount you have to top up and the VIP amount don't add up. Kind of like in their other game, the One Piece Online one, or some of the other games that they have, the top up system doesn't line up correctly. So I don't know what's up with that, but it'd be nice if uh, they would add it up a little bit better. Because I believe VIP 3 is a thousand? I'm not too sure. I'll check VIP 1. So VIP 1's a hundred. Like probably everything. The minimal amount's usually gonna get you VIP 1. VIP 2, however, I believe is 500. And the next amount you can top up is 400. So. You can't technically top up 500, which kind of sucks. I don't know why they do it that way. Maybe because you have to top up uh, 15 to even get it. Of course, the more you top up, the closer you're going to get to some of the other VIP levels. I'm not too sure what the best VIP level it is. But uh, during the open alpha, they had to give us VIP 6, I believe. And that was amazing. You just get stuff done really fast. But I don't know if it's actually worth it because I didn't make it as far as other people did, but for sure VIP is going to help you. I will be getting VIP 1. Anything past that, probably not going to go for it, but uh, I will be getting VIP. I'll probably do it in this video. Um, we'll see if it kind of clears up a little bit more. If it does, then I'll definitely do it, but yeah, pretty fun game so far, besides the lag. Plus, we'll actually get Chopper if we actually do that, so that's going to be pretty fun character. I didn't actually get to play with him last time because he couldn't top up, of course, in the closed beta and open alpha, so I don't know what uh, Chopper actually does. And there it goes with the lag yet again. We might refresh, I guess. That seems to be the best option, so anytime it freezes, I would just recommend refreshing. I'm gonna wait a few minutes just to see if it clears up, but uh, most likely you're just gonna want to refresh. Come on. Not uh, the best. Alright, so there we go. We just had to refresh. I don't know. Maybe it's it's still pretty early, it's only about 20 minutes in, so gotta give it a little bit longer than that. Pretty sure if you're playing it later today or tomorrow or something like that, you should be perfectly fine. And there we go. I don't remember what level you actually get all five characters at, but I believe I didn't make it last time. Might have been like 40, maybe even 50 or something like that, but I believe at level 20? You get the third character. The fourth character, I don't think I got to as well. I'm not too sure. I would have to go back and check, but you can go watch my open alpha ones if you want to see further in. 
course some stuff might be changed. Not too sure what they changed from that to this. It was about uh, a couple weeks in between, so I could have changed quite a bit of stuff. I really wish I would change the VIP though. Especially for like VIP 2, you should only have to top up one amount to get VIP 2 or 3 or whatever you're going for. Because they have like a hundred short of what you need, so yeah, that kind of sucks. I don't know why they do that. But uh, yeah, it's a One Piece game. Of course, some of the characters don't look like the actual characters, so there's that. But other than that, I find it pretty fun. Kind of like Anime Ninja. Um, a mix between a ton of different games, so some people are going to like it, some aren't. It's just a matter of actually playing it and finding out. Alright, come on. And the auto button doesn't open up till 20 as well. You also get the fast forward button at level 20. So those both open up at level 20. It does help with the combat because you can speed it up to times 2. I don't believe anything goes past that, but... Yeah, there's that. But here's the VIP 1 stuff. You do get a helm. Ring VIP 2, you get the next set, and then, of course, it doesn't load. Oh, there it goes. But, um, yeah, the higher you go, the better you're gonna be. Uh, let me top up real quick, and I guess I'll be right back. I'm gonna go with the minimal amount, so there's that. Alright, so we did get the 200, as you can see here, and... We get uh, Ring, Helm, and some other stuff, and then of course, the higher you go, the more equipment you're going to get. I believe you have to get to VIP 3 to get the complete set, so, because there's 6 pieces, which would probably be 20, I think. I can't, uh, you can go look for yourself and see how much it actually is, but I think it's actually a little bit more than that, because uh, this one, to get to be a... Uh, Fifth, you have to top up 15. I mean, to get to VIP 2, you gotta top up 15 because you can't top up 5. I don't know why, but that's just the way they did it, so. There's that. But yeah, I like this character. There's also the Sailor, the Sniper. I'm not too sure which one's the best. In the open alpha, I did play this character. In the closed beta, which I didn't upload, I did play the Sailor, and uh, I didn't try the other two, so I'm not too sure if they're actually any better. Um, yeah, I guess I've got to test them out to see. Currently there's only one server, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a ton of servers by the end of the month, which is only a couple days away. Maybe they'll have like uh, two or three servers by then. But uh, usually with these type of games, they leave the first one up for at least a day, maybe even not a day, they'll have the second server up, and then every couple days they'll throw up a server, so if you are looking to actually start off the game, and it is pretty early in, I would start on S1 maybe, I mean you guess you could want, uh, if you want to, but most of the times I would recommend just starting on whatever server is the newest server. Just so you're closer to everybody else, because if they're like 20 levels ahead of you, because you did hit a wall, I believe it was at level like 28. It might have been 20 or 28 or something like that. There's a wall you hit at, at a certain point that uh, you're just going to have to wait for more stamina to level yourself, because you can't go on with the quest until you level up a couple levels or something along those lines. So yeah, if there's people already past that point, you might as well just start on a newer one, but if you don't mind, then uh, you can just pick whatever server you want, but most of the times if you're starting on a newer game, I'll just pick the newer server. Plus later on that might help you out a little bit. And most of these games merge servers anyway, so... Might as well start the new one, you might get merged with the older ones sooner or later. And... Almost done. But yeah, that's gonna be... About it for this one. I mean... 
I might do more commentary on some of these, but I'm thinking I'm probably not going to do some for the next, uh, like, five or six, because that's, like, about the rest of the time I'm going to be playing. It's about an hour. Probably a little bit longer than that. And I already played all of this, so... Yeah, you can probably go back and watch that if you want to. To see what's actually coming up, but I, I, like I said, at a certain point you're gonna get stuck either way, so... I think after that point, I might start doing these daily. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing commentary over each and every one of these, because I already do a ton, but... We'll see. Pretty fun game. Go check it out. Link in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll talk to you guys later.